right, what's up everybody? Welcome to deer season 2020. I'm in uh, Tennessee, just got fueled up and uh, I'm loaded down. I am planning on hunting in Kentucky tonight. It is 317. I am about 30 miles away from the Kentucky state line. I got about two, little less than two hours, about an hour and 45 minutes before I get there. I'm just gonna walk in tonight. I'm not gonna use the kayak. I'm really excited about this season. 2020 season started off pretty good with Adam killing that buck. Like I said, that video is uh, is available on the channel. You can uh, look at this card up top. It's gonna slide by. Check that out. If you wanna watch that video? I'm gonna be hunting tonight. I'm gonna be in a tree. Hopefully, we'll be killing a deer. Pretty excited, you guys. Stay tuned. Welcome to Kentucky. We're about five minutes out from uh, the area we're going to be hunting, so I'm going to have to be quick. I'm sure there's going to be trucks parked in spots that I've got in my mind to hunt, but I'm just going to have to be quick on it because uh, I don't have a ton of time. It's about five o'clock, and uh, I got to get changed, get all my gear in my pack, get ready to go. So. I'm gonna have to be pretty, pretty fast about it, but uh, I'm excited. see most of this field kind of give me an idea of just some areas where I might be able to sit at. My wind's kind of doing weird stuff right now. It's going really kind of back and forth. There's nothing super consistent. Oh, we may actually get a shot. There's a big huge freaking trail coming out in this back corner. But here we go. First sit. y'all so we just uh finished up recording a podcast that you can listen to right now actually go to the southern ground hunting podcast you can listen to it but we're going to uh here's here's a quick little tour of the place i think ricky's in there brushing his teethers yeah there he is spencer's in here going to sleep there's ray hey let me show you where the uh where we're hiding the key Everybody on YouTube will know. In the bird's bird nest? nest. That's fantastic. <laughs> awesome. <Shut up. laughs> That's where the key is going to go. Right. It's in there now. <laughs> We're going to get some sleep. We got about four hours of sleep before we wake up and get after him in the morning. I'm tired, Ray. Dreaming about big bucks. Dreaming about big bucks. Big racks. Right. I'm gonna take my pants off while everybody's watching. Right. Do you feel weird about this? Because my pants are off. Good night.
kill him all of a sudden. We made it, made it into this tree. I don't know if it would or not. I had a couple guys, I don't know where they came from. They came from the water, which is where my boat's at. I don't think they'd see it, but they came walking up. The way this spot works out, it's actually a really good spot. I've got really good beans back behind me. And, uh, really good bedding right in front of me and I'm in this little finger woods right here that should be perfect there's good trails coming across it those deer come from that bedding and walk this way it's really hard to get between bed and food right now but I think this is a good one it's still early so I'm not too worried about those guys walking through I, the thing that really sucks is that there's scents over here, so, like right in front of me. But hopefully these deer will come across. They may come from this way too, there's no telling. But I got a lot of good shot opportunities right through here, so. quite a bit this this morning and uh, didn't find a lot honestly it was pretty pretty slow everything that I found didn't have a whole lot of sign I'm gonna stay and hunt this same WMA that I was at this morning for the evening here's why so this place has been getting significantly less pressure and there's some bean fields there's like on the whole WMA there's like two bean fields pretty concentrated number of uh, areas where I think a deer will want to be at right now and one of those things is beans I think this time of year if you can find some that are green still then that should be good we'll see I'm I'm pretty pumped about it I'm glad I found it I'm glad I came here today
it's uh it's morning three of uh, the Kentucky early season hunt I'm gonna go back into an area that looks like a really good uh, pinch point terrain feature in an area of this WMA that winds coming out of the east and I'm gonna be hunting a, uh, a real steep drop that goes down to the river and it it basically funnels funnels into a really skinny piece of woods um, that's all uh, you know basically just a ridge uh, imagine that there's a trail somewhere there and uh, I'm gonna try to find that trail and pop up a tree right there just because it's an east wind that they'll be bedding off the edge of it that's what I'm hoping for whether it happens or not we'll see but I think it could be really good this morning um, there's a lot of factors that go into making that a good spot and the fact that it's a funnel the fact that the winds coming out of the east and if they start cutting corn then I feel like a lot of deer are gonna move that direction so I finished my breakfast and uh, we'll get going Been walking this trail for a little while, and uh, I'm not seeing anything that screams dead buck. To uh, suck it up and call it a miss. So that's what it is. I will say this though: clean miss is way better than a wounded deer. You know, there's a uh, really not a disappointment quite like bow hunting it's about the most disappointing thing that I've ever dealt with when you spend so much time preparing and getting everything set up and spending tons of money on your archery equipment and then to have those type of disappointing moments like that Man, there's just nothing that I can compare it to. It's truly one of the most intense, heartbreaking, and addicting feelings that I think exists in the entire world. And we keep coming back for more. 
for some reason. <laughs> 